Hey guys, I've just downed a cup of coffee because my mum phones at the same time every day and I like to get the podcast out of the way before she phones me and talks rubbish for as long as possible. <laughs> Shame. Anyway, what's been going on? Well, I I distributed my single yesterday and then I thought I'll just have a one more listen to it and I really hated the drums. So I've just had to cancel the distribution of it before it's been released, which I think is is fairly straightforward. We'll see. I hope if it goes out, I'm going to have to ask them to give it back again. Because once you're distributed, it's a palaver to stop the process. You know, the machine just, it, it kind of goes off like an aeroplane to all these, you know, to iTunes and Spotify and all these places. And it, it's very difficult to stop. Um, so hopefully that'll be all right. But the drums were just, I think when you're listening a long time, I mean, I was listening for two days with headphones, your brain starts to block things out. This is what I do with my mother. <laughs> she talks and talks and I just block her out and I'm not listening. And we do it, humans, we do that. We do that when we're so used to something that it becomes um, sort of like a white noise, you know. And I remember one of my husbands and my son talking to me one day and I was trying to watch a film and I was just completely ignoring them and I remember my husband saying I, it's unbelievable isn't it that she can do that and my son was sort of saying yeah how does she do that and they were just having this full-on conversation um which you know I kind of knew it was going on but I was v- very intensely involved in in the movie so I, I guess it's a, a trait of mine this ability to completely shut off whole sections of audio and that's dangerous for a, a record producer, of course, because you're not hearing everything as it should be listened to. Now, the other problem is using different headsets. So I was using the ones that you stick in your ears, you know, your um, iPod things. And then I was also using um, my favourite uh, headphones, which are, cover my ear. They're actually quite small. Now, I've invested heavily in headphones over the years, and these orange and black things I don't know where I got them but they're cheap and fairly nasty not I mean not pound land nasty but yeah fairly fairly nasty and they're the best headphones I've ever ever had and um, but I was having a drama with them last night because my software couldn't recognize them they could only recognize the ones you put in your ears and blah blah bloody blah so I got in a bit of a tizzy and hence I've woken up a bit stressed anyway I went to the actual recording studio this morning, which is far and away the best place to do a mix down. I would recommend that you do not do your mix down on a laptop. I mean, it's the same piece. You know, my laptop is shared with the studio, so they're in shared files. But but for some reason, you just you just don't get the playback on a on my laptop that you get on the the Big Mac, the Big Mac. Oh, I've never noticed that before, the Big Mac, yeah. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I've been doing that this morning. I've been up since kind of early, seven, so a, a bit strained, a bit stressful. So I think I need to calm down a bit today. I'm going to be doing um, another track in a minute. I'm going to do one a day, so hopefully I'll do one for Rife Vibes, and which is the self-hypnosis um, app. I have got an app. I'm, I can't tell you the link to the app because it's not a branded app, but it's on Fit by Wix. So um, I'll, I'll get some details and I'll be putting the link around and about places so that we can find it. So it's just for Rife Vibes. So I'm trying to kind of streamline everything. So this four months of, you know, just making music and not spending any money, I'm, a, I'm about a week in, am I not? I think maybe four days. Um, it's going really well. I mean, I'm really, really super productive, super productive. I've finished, practically finished my peacock tattoo. I'll do a video of it in a minute because I'm really proud of it. Really, really so proud of it. Um, practically finished that. I've released a single. I'm about to, I mean, last week I think I released three. But the Rife Vibes aren't, I can't really call them singles as such. I mean, they are singles, but they're, it's much more about, um, you know, kind of uh what, what uh, it's a medical thing you know it's a, a wellness process it just happens to be musical so you know you don't quite get the same 
um, rev- uh, different. It's a different kind of revenue you get. You don't get revenue for plays and uh, as in streams. And also, it, they're difficult to copyright in the traditional way that you'd copyright your, you know, your beautiful track, like my song I've just done, for example. And because there aren't any lyrics, so you know, I mean, I obviously, I'm my revenue is being collected, but really it's sales that count for those rather than streams so it's all a bit it's all a bit weird it's all a bit different how they do it um but I might try some vocals today on you know on a on a track on a Rife Vibes track some self-hypnosis vocals do you see what I mean some sort of uh, like that I mean obviously in a better better vocal than that my voice is tired it's been it's been working overtime this weekend um but you know some some um uh, I, I mean i i hate to reference moby but his his music was quite meditative wasn't it do you recall it was it was that kind of hypnotic trancey type thing so i thought i might i might do something with that i think it might be quite pleasant basically i thought I could combine fitness and wellness music therapy with something a little bit more creative musically, which might give me more um, satisfaction from them. So I'm going to try that today. And having this app is quite lovely, actually, because it all links to YouTube and it all links to the tracks. And I will be putting some videos up that, so that you can press a tab and you can look at visuals so they'll literally just be kaleidoscopic visuals, but you can look at them while you listen. And it, it's really good for meditative um, processes, for you, for your yoga. You know, you could do your yoga, listen to the frequencies and the music, the lovely music, and watch the trancey videos. I mean, that's kind of you know really cerebral isn't it and it's kind of what I wanted to do with with the book I wasn't able to do it with the book but now I see maybe I could do it with the book maybe there's something else I could do here I could have you know the book being read some visuals that you you just press play and and some music some background music I mean that's doable isn't it on an app That is doable, guys. So this is what I'm sort of thinking in four months' time. For the the meantime, um, everything's... I'm not doing too much work online. I want to get away from it because I'm over a computer producing records all bloody day. And it's... you. Your eyes get tired. That's why I like to tattoo a bit in the evenings. Your eyes get tired looking at screens. And, And when... I record, I'm looking as far away as possible. I mean, it's only in the corner of the room. <laughs> it's not a great view from my bed. <laughs> I'm looking, literally looking at bookshelves. But they're lovely bookshelves, I must say. And a cello, I can see my cello. But yeah, corner, corner with no fancy cornices. I mean, that really, that would be the most charming thing, wouldn't it? To lie here and look at lovely beautiful cornices I remember when I was younger and um you know off my head a lot I'd wake up places strangers places it was always partying and I'd look up I'd open my eyes from the couch or wherever it was I was crashed and I'd look at the cornices and you know the um the plates around I don't know what they call them, where the light sockets go, uh, the light um, fittings go, you know, the chandelier thing. I don't know what they call that. It's, it's gone. It's escaped me. But I'd look at those, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'd think, where am I? Can I tell by the cornices where I am? And then, of course, your eyes wander down and you realise you're in a room full of other students or party goers or whoever you happened to amble across the night before. And uh, and you think, oh, God, yeah, I remember now. i better get home. <laughs> so, the cornices always fascinated me. You can tell a lot by a house from its cornices. And I don't have any here. It's a modern build with no such things. But I, I'd, I'm tempted to put some in. I mean, it would be quite um, 
be quite evocative, wouldn't it, of, of you know, my upbringing, the big old house I was brought up in, which was a Victorian house, three floor, three storey Victorian ha- home. It was lovely, really lovely. And there were, you know, it was very fancy ceiling work everywhere. I mean, absolute bugger to heat, those rooms. Uh, we were in, The central heating was rubbish. It was always rubbish. Or maybe my parents just didn't put it on a lot. Because I remember in the 70s, electricity was really expensive. Well, and we've come full circle because it's really expensive again. It's interesting, isn't it? And no doubt it'll be really cheap again in 20 or 30 years. I don't know. We're all, all, all of us are now, you know, washing up in cold water in, the, in England. I don't know what you're doing where you are. But, um, you know, it's been a bit of a learning curve realizing you can do your laundry in cold water and you can do your washing up in cold water I didn't know that I mean I I didn't appreciate it I'd fill the sink with burning hot water to wash the pans and the dishes I mean I don't I don't really cook very much at the moment um so my four months of not spending any money guys really I've I've had to throw myself into work so that I don't buy anything because I've got a very busy brain and my busy brain can be sed- be seduced by Google adverts. I've come off Facebook because the advertisements on Facebook were improving and I was getting high end <laughs> I was getting high end handbag and shoe ads and things like that. And I couldn't help click on them and Vivian Westwood was coming up every day. I mean, I remember a time when you didn't get people like that advertising on Facebook you just got shoddy or maybe they just weren't targeting me I don't know but but mostly you just got Shein and Temu Timu whatever it's called I've vowed never to shop there again ever as long as I live um so how does it feel to be to to have shed the habit because the habit they say goes in three days when you're a child if you're if you've got a child and you're trying to get them off sweets, don't buy sweets for three days and the habit will be kind of relearned. Do you see what I mean? So they, they, I'm not saying they wouldn't ever desire sweets greatly again, but their habit is not to wake up and have sweets for breakfast sort of thing. And I certainly think that after three days of not going online and not looking at lovely things that I could own and possess and that would, you know, completely change my life, my image which would... Uh, make me sell more records or <laughs> whatever the re- you know whatever the reasoning because we all justify shopping um it's been absolutely lovely to free myself of that um burden because it is a burden it's a real burden this al- these fighting these algorithms the burden of algorithms i don't like them at all um so I'm, I've sort of been free of that. And I tell you what, the software that I use for making records is the same software that I used when I got my arts grant from the Futures Venture Foundation in 2020. So three years ago, it's the same software. I haven't needed to get anything bigger or better. I haven't, there's nothing I've, you know, I've been required. There's nothing I need except an engineer <laughs> see if if perhaps if you could hire a robot engineer i mean it's, theoretically you know you just put your mix into um your mix down into an ai and and it just does it for you but that that's not the reality of of engineering music engineering digital digital music production that's so far removed from the truth um so this morning I was peaking, my F's and my P's were peaking on my vocal. And I thought, well, it wasn't doing that two days ago. Why is it suddenly doing that, you know? Does it be to do with putting the gain on and, you know, raising... raising? I, I, now I've just drunk my coffee. I'm going to go into the studio and I'm going to get rid of my popping P and my f f f f f It's actually distorting. I've got to get rid of those two bits. Um... And, you know, if you use the machine to do it, the AI that's sort of in the software, it kind of does it to everything and not to these individual bits. So that's what I've got to go and do now. But it'll still be released today, so panic not, along with a wellness track. 
Telltaleclub.com.